would you do if you had your own zoo? Would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? Thank you, Gus. <laughs> oh, oh. Samuel, you look hot. You should take a dip in the pool. Camels do not, as you put it, take a dip. We are built for the heat of the desert. Huh? What are you reading, Dad? Well, uh, just for fun, I sent one of my poems into a magazine contest, and this letter says that they like the poem and, well, they might publish it. <gasps> a magazine? That is so cool! You're going to be famous! Just wait until I tell everyone. Oh, hold on, hold on, Willa. They said they might publish my poem. It's not for sure. There are lots of other poems they're considering. But I know yours is the best. <laughs> I appreciate your faith in me, sweetie, but I, I don't want to tell anyone until the magazine makes its decision. So let's just keep this between us, okay? Sure, Dad. Just between us. Oh, and Jenny, of course. Uh, right. And Jenny. Dad. Yes? I sure am proud of you. Thank you, sweetie. like you're on the tip top of the world. What's up? I have some really, really great news. But I can't tell anyone. A secret? What is it? Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> well. Willa? Oh, Dad won't mind me telling Coco. She's family. And I pinky promise I won't tell a soul. All right, Dad wrote a poem that's going to be in a big magazine. Well, maybe. Probably. Crikey! But Dad doesn't want anyone to know yet, so remember, you have to keep it a secret. Keep what a secret? <laughs> okay, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. <laughs> Really? Who's left to tell? So now everyone knows? Oh, I'm sure Dad won't mind, as long as we keep it in the family. Besides, I'm going to need everyone's help for the party. Party? Of course. Dad can't get big news like this and not have a party. I get one finished, the party will be over. Oh, can I help? <laughs> Who's that? Thanks, Lou. Hey, Willa, having a party? Uh... What's the occasion? Birthday? Graduation? Solar eclipse? 
Hmm. My dad's poem might get published in a magazine. Hey, that's great! When is it? It's tomorrow afternoon. But you've got to keep it a secret. Promise? A secret. Got it. See you then. Oh, I cannot be seen like this. No doubt about it. Worst case of pool puff I've ever seen. Yeah. Kind of the worst of both worlds. Humps and curls. Don't worry, my friend. You're in good hands. Uh, Bob, uh, let's call that plan B. We'll hide all this stuff in the garage until the party. <gasps> What are you doing? Isn't it a beautiful day? We should go for a walk out the front door. Uh, thanks, but I, I was just going for a glass of juice. Great idea. To the kitchen, then. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll bring it to you, because I know you've got work to do. But, whoa! <sighs> Allow us to present the new and improved you! Good heavens! This is worse than before. All right, boys. What now? Oh, let's call that Plan C. Okay, it's all set. My parents said they'll make the punch for the party. Your parents? Dooley, it's supposed to be a secret. I thought you meant a secret from your dad. Sorry, I promise I won't tell anyone else. But my parents are still invited, right? Sure. We'll just make a couple more party hats. I've got it! Hi, Miss Vanderwinkle. I just popped over to tell you that I'll bring a cake for the party. Cake? How, how, how did you find out? Dooley's mom told me. We're all just so proud of your dad. I'm glad, but I was trying to keep it kind of quiet. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know then I probably shouldn't have told Mr. Habersham. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> yes, Mr. Habersham. All the members of Dad's Model Train Club? How many people is that? Dad's Bottle Cap Collectors Club? Dad's favorite flavor of ice cream, Almond Crunch. Yes, it'll be nice to see all of you, too. Miss Vanderwinkle? Uh, we're going to need a bigger cake. Maybe even two. Oh, I'm afraid this isn't acceptable either. <coughs> Not yet, Bob. People have started to arrive for the party, Willa. Shh. We don't want Dad to hear until we're ready. Willa, do I hear something? N no, no. It's just the animals. How about a snack? Whoa! <gasps> Then again, you don't want to spoil your dinner. Willa, you have been behaving very strangely lately. What is going on? Uh, we're not finished here, young lady. Hello? Yes, that's me. Y yes, yes, I, I received the letter. Oh, I see. Well, uh, thank you. I appreciate the call. Goodbye. Well, <gasps> that was the magazine. They thanked me for my poem, but they're, well, they're going with one of the others instead. What? No, no, they can't do that! It's all right. I, I'm glad they liked my poem enough to even consider it. And what is going on out there? Congratulations! Uh, Surprise! This is why I asked you to keep the news to yourself. So it wouldn't be embarrassing like it is right now. But, Dad, I was so proud of you. I couldn't keep it in. Other than family, I only told Dooley. But then he told someone, and they told someone. <sighs> now everyone is coming to the party. More people are coming? Your bottle cap collector guys should be here any minute. Oh, well... Uh... <clears throat> um... I, I am sorry, everyone, but I'm afraid there really isn't anything to celebrate today. Aww. Willa sort of got ahead of herself, but I know her heart was in the right place, and I'm very touched that all of you came. It, it was pretty exciting to think that my poem might actually be read by a lot of people. 
but that's not going to happen. You could read it now. That way, a lot of people would hear it. Come on, read it. I hope you don't mind. Okay, here it goes. <clears throat> I share my life with a giraffe and penguins, a bear and a small kangaroo, a couple of seals and an elephant pair, a camel and a green gator too. And yes, it gets noisy, and yes, it's quite odd. Sometimes I see bunnies and groan. But my Willa's made a family out of fangs, fur, and fins. And her smile makes this zoo home sweet home. Yeah! That was just fantastic! <laughs> Dad, that was the best poem ever. Good enough to deserve a party. And guess what? I just happen to have one right here. Well, I guess I do have something to celebrate. <laughs> You never cease to amaze me, Willa. That's exactly how I feel about you. Samuel? usually rides home on your back. Why is she walking? Today, Miss Willa insisted on using her own two feet. Really? That's new. And very, very rude. Now, Samuel, I'm sure there's an explanation. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, Willa, we noticed you didn't ride home on Samuel today. Good idea, huh? <gasps> See, today my teacher told us all about physical fitness. So I decided to walk home instead of having Samuel exercise for me. What a healthy choice, Willa. I'm very proud of you. As am I. As long as it's for your well-being, no sacrifice is too great. Thanks, Samuel. You know, exercising makes you extra hungry. Time for a snack. <laughs> Pie, chocolate cake, or double cheese pepperoni sausage pizza? Decisions, decisions. Hi, Wallace. No, no. Nearly a will, huh? Left you some cake. No. You know, no. I think I'll try a different kind of snack today. Apples are much better for you. No. I quite agree. This is regular exercise. Which is why I do two to three hundred laps in the pool every day. Wow, you must be in great shape. Gee, that's funny. I was at the pool all day. You'd think I'd have noticed the walrus doing pool laps. Well, um, that's because I exercise before the crack of dawn. That's what real athletes do. Yeah, right, sure, whatever. Hey, Willa, look what I found. My favorite old sweater from college. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> well, it's a very pretty color, but it looks a little small. Hmm, yeah. Guess it must have, well, must have shrunk in the wash, huh? <laughs> what the? Hey, is that all that's left of the chocolate cake? <laughs> hmm. Sitting at a desk all day, uh, well, a fella can really work up an appetite. Gee, I can't remember the last time I saw my dad exercise. And soda, and chips, and cake. Meh. You should probably have a word with him about his eating habits. I think you're right. And bring back those chips before they're all gone. Dad, I am very, very worried about you. Why is that, sweetie? Well, you sit all day, you eat food that's not very good for you, and... 
I love you so much, Dad. I want you to be around forever. Oh, honey, it's okay. No, it's not. I think you should have a health makeover. Oh, a health makeover? I learned everything about it today at school. Veggies and fruits have a lot of vitamins. You need to eat them every day. Oh, and meat and dairy, too. They have proteins. It's a lot to remember, but don't worry. I'll be your coach. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe it is time I got back into shape. Used to be quite athletic in my younger days, you know? I even held the school's record for the shot put. <laughs> Ouch. Are the bunnies heavier than a shot put thingy? No. More like your old dad's not as strong as he used to be. Don't worry, Dad. You'll be back in shape in no time with Willa's personal trainer service. Ow. And so, our mission is to help my dad become healthier. So what's the plan, honey? Well, you bunnies go carrot hunting because carrots are as crunchy as chips, but way better for you. Hey, bunnies! I got your white carrots right here. Nice try, Gus. But I think you'd be better standing guard over the cookie jar. That's such a demanding job. Allow me to personally purge the kitchen of all unhealthy yet yummy treats. Thanks, Wallace. With everyone pitching in, my dad will be in great shape in no time. Ready, guys? Good morning, Dad. Time to go jogging. You're doing great, Dad. Only two more miles to go. Only? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Toaster pastries, sugar frosted crunches. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. What the? Who ate all the breakfast food? Ooh, I'll just have some frozen waffles. Hey! Ah! Isn't Willa's dad supposed to be exercising? Time to demonstrate our latest fitness craze. Staying in shape the Steve and Edie way. Huh? No! Oh, stop that! Hey! Hot my lemonade! Say, if your dad needs a little help making the last few laps, I'll be happy to give him what you call some gator motivation, huh? Willa, I've put up with this now for a couple of weeks, and... Yeah! Willa, from now on, I'll get myself in shape without the help of your animals. Okay, Dad. Thanks anyway, Gus. <laughs> Sounds like your father is showing all the classic symptoms of what we health experts call unhealthy-itis. Gosh, that doesn't sound good. My advice is to keep an eye on him at all times. But I can't watch my dad unless... unless I exercise with him. That's it! Hey, glad you decided to join me on my morning jog, Willa. It's a great way to spend some quality time with my little girl. Having fun, hon? Yes, very fun. Is it almost over? You're doing great, sweetie. But you know, it takes time to get your body in condition. Took me a while. I guess I was so busy trying to help you get back in shape. Oh, I forgot to take my own advice. Oh, and I'm really hungry. Well, I think we've jogged enough for the first day. Let's head back for a snack. something healthy while you take your shower. It's a deal, but no more carrots. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Wallace? Hey, Gladys, mind giving us a hand? Uh, sure, guys. What's going on? Apparently, this poor old English lady was snooping around in our fridge and got stuck. Guys, that's not a lady. That's Wallace. If you say so, Gladys. Bob, huh? try pushing on her face. No, give her up the whiskers. Don't mention her mustache. She's sensitive about it. <laughs> Wallace, how did you ever end up in there? There was some pudding in the back. Knowing your father wouldn't have the willpower to resist it, I nobly tried to eat it, and somehow got stuck. Pull harder! <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to make the refrigerator door smaller? No one made the door smaller, Wallace. I think maybe someone got bigger? <gasps> you mean me? Um, well... Perhaps I have put on one or two pounds since my medal-winning days. Gaining weight is nothing to be ashamed of, Wallace. But I love you, so I want you to start exercising and eating healthier. I think you're right, my dear. That's the spirit! But first, we're going to need lots and lots of butter. Capital idea! And a stack of chocolate chip pancakes to put it on! Not exactly, Wallace. The butter's going to help you slide out of the fridge. No, like... <laughs> ah! Stroke! 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 How many more? My dear. Just a few more, Wallace. Stroke! Stroke! Getting tired. Need new motivation. Hey, Rick! Hey, Rick! Hey, Rick! Hey, Rick! Stroke! Yep, looks like I've trimmed down enough to fit into the old college sweater. And now, the school shot put alarm will attempt to break his own record!